So I've had a lot of people ask me how I have my camera set up, specifically how I use the focus system. So this is how I set up the D500 focus system for birds in flight. It works really, really well for me. It's very simple. It's very easy to do. Um, so let's get right to it. So first thing you have to do is you obviously have to turn the camera on, but then you need to move over to this button over here. This is your focus mode selector. You can go from auto, which is AF, to manual. We want AF, and to change your focus mode, you have to press this little button in the middle. Bloop. So when you press that button on the side, you can come look at this window on the top and it tells you what's going on. So it's not pressed, and I just pressed it. So here's the important stuff, this AFC. That's what you want for anything that's moving. That's autofocus continuous servo mode. To change that, you use this back dial right here. There's only two modes to choose from, so you can't really make a mistake. AFS, which is more for stationary objects, but we're not doing that. We're doing birds in flight, so we want AFC, continuous mode. Cool. So then if you come back here and you press this info button, boop, you get this screen back here that tells you all kinds of stuff. So when you press this button on the side, like I talked about, it now tells you uh, the area mode that you have selected, and then the focus mode that you have selected, and it tells you which dials do that. So the back dial changes from AFS to AFC, and then the front dial, which is right under the power button, this dial right here, that changes your focus points. So I choose, by default, I have group autofocus set up, and I'll show you what that looks like when you look through the viewfinder. All right, so this is what group focus mode looks like when you look through the viewfinder. These four little squares is where the camera is going to focus. And on the back, if we pan back a little bit, there's this little joystick here. And this is uh, something that's new on the D500, and it's excellent. This little joystick moves your focus points around in the frame. So here I'll show you. If you come back, you can see I have the focus points kind of up into the center, I mean up into the right a little bit. If I wanted to move them, I press that joystick to the left, they go to the left. If I want to move them down, I press the joystick down, they go down. So that means that now the focus will be where these four squares are. So boom. And typically for birds in flight, I try to keep it right in the middle because birds are very erratic. You never know where they're going to go and um, keeping it in the middle seems to help a lot. All right, there's also a menu system within the camera itself. And to get there, you press menu. Boop. And then the menu will load up. And this screen is really cool because it's articulated. You can move it around and stuff to make it easier for yourself. So to navigate through this menu, you use this dial over here, and then the center button will make your selection. So right now, this extended photo menu banks is highlighted. I want to move to the left because I want to access this portion over here. So you go to the left. Oh, I pressed down. So I go to the left, and now you press down, I want to get to this pencil. Now that I'm in the pencil, I want to press to the right, and press down because I want to go to autofocus. And then you press the middle button to make your selection. So I haven't changed anything in here except one thing, this A3, focus tracking with lock on. So I'm going to be on here, and then I'm going to click the center button, and here you go. So. What I changed was this blocked shot AF response. And I changed it from the default setting of three to two. So this is uh, like, suppose you're uh, tracking a bird and the bird goes behind a tree and the camera wants to focus on the tree because the tree's now there and you lose focus on the bird, the camera will try to go back to the bird when it's back in the shot, but it won't do it uh, as quick as if you have this to the left. So quick means it will focus from different subjects very, very fast. Delayed means it takes longer to do it. I didn't mess with the subject motion um, only because I felt I didn't really need to. I'm not getting any problems. So I left that just how it was. So once you get this um, set to how you want it, you have to press this OK button over here. And that sets it in the memory. So now it's going to be set how I wanted it, which was on two. All right, now here's what I call my secret weapon, okay? Because I'm in group focus all the time when I'm doing birds in flight. 
Um, it works great for birds in flight, but sometimes you might be shooting a bird in flight and then you see a smaller little bird that's ducked down behind some trees and group focus wants to focus on the branch in front of the bird and the bird might just be a little bit to the left or to the right and the, the autofocus system wants to keep focusing on the branch that's in front and not the bird that's behind. So if you can change the single point focus really, really fast, you can then move your uh, focus point over to just the bird which is behind the branch and the camera will focus on the bird really fast instead of the branch. So the problem is changing from group autofocus to single point focus really, really fast. You have to press this button over here and you have to flip some dials and I kept forgetting which direction to turn the dial and all that. So what's cool about the D500 is in the menu system, you have custom button functions where you can assign buttons on the back to do things that you want, custom things. So I have assigned this AF on button to do something really, really, really cool. And what it does is it activates the autofocus system and it changes from group to single point autofocus just by holding this button in. And it keeps focus on wherever that focus point is while you're holding that point in, this button in. So I can be shooting in group autofocus and suddenly see a little bird and tag this button right here and I'm now in single point uh, focus. So now I can get that bird that's deep in those branches. So I'll show you how to set that up really quick because it's really, really easy and it's extremely useful. Don't be afraid to go into this part of your camera because that's what it's here for. So you go into menu. And again, I'm in the same little icon here, the pencils. And I want to be in controls. And then I click, boom. And now all of this stuff is custom stuff that you can make the camera do whatever you want. We're going to go into custom control assignment right off the top. Boom. And now you got a picture of the front of the camera and the button that's highlighted is also highlighted on the camera. So this button is on the front of the camera and you can change it to do whatever you want. I changed the AF on button, which is right down here. So I'm going to go down to the AF on button. And again, it shows you which button it is, which is this one. And then you press the center button here when you have it selected. And now you have a selection. A whole bunch of stuff that you can do. Um, I changed it to AF area mode plus AF on. So that's saying I want a specific focus mode and autofocus on at the same time. And you can see it's telling me I need to go to the right to see what that is. So I press to the right. And I've changed it to single point AF. And when you do all that, you hit OK. And now it's saved to this button. So now you can instantly change from group autofocus to single point focus just by moving your thumb right here and pressing this button. It is super, super cool. So I went one step further. Now this little joystick has two functions. I already showed you how you can uh, move your focus points around in the viewfinder with it, but the center of it, if you press down on it, is also a button. And that button is right back here. And I changed it to AF area mode plus AF on, and I changed it to dynamic AF 25 points. That's a different focus mode. So if I wanted to try a completely different focus mode that wasn't group, that wasn't single point, I now just press in the joystick and it instantly turns on the autofocus system, keeps it on as long as I have it depressed, and changes to this 25 point uh, dynamic autofocus system. So I'll go over it again really, really quick. So by default, if you look up here, I have AFC for continuous, but that's what you want for birds in flight. I have group focus set by default, but if I get to that little bird in the branch, I come over here and press this AF on button and it changes to single point. If I want the dynamic point, uh, 25 point, I press this button in and it changes to that. And I'll show you through the viewfinder really quick so you can see it working. So if you look in here in the viewfinder, all right, I've got group selected, right? And that's perfect for what I want, but now this little bird is in my way, so I want to focus on this little bird and not the tree. I press this AF on, and now I've changed to single point. And I can move it around with the joystick if I need to while I'm holding this in. So pressing in the joystick, I have this 25 point auto dynamic focus area. Pressing in the AF on, I can change from single point. I let it go, I'm back in group, all within a fraction of a second. That's how I have my D500 set up 
for birds in flight and how I use the autofocus system. There should be a little bumblebee in the upper left hand corner. Go ahead and click on that and subscribe to my channel. I got a lot of videos planned. If you like the video, click the thumbs up and always leave comments. It doesn't matter if it's good, bad, questions, whatever. I'll do my best to answer any questions and I love hearing what everybody thinks of the videos. Part two of how I set my D500 up for birds in flight is coming up next. You should be able to click in the lower right hand corner and play it. This covers auto ISO and how to set it up on your D500.